pam 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 so y'all we have a lot going on today i don't know how much i'm going to be able to actually um vlog we have that silage tarp we're putting up andrew is measuring because we're expanding this garden um we've got all of this well not all of it just about a couple of acres that we're going to go ahead till up cover crop we're looking to do the same over here so cover cropping about i don't know um five acres maybe four acres and then expanding um our production space so right there and then um, 100 feet rows with you know room for a tractor to get in and out oh and check this out y'all hold on hey there how are you i'm getting a documentary made and that is clark and clark is doing um i don't know he's doing a documentary on me so you all will see it and um i guess get a deeper dive uh into what we have going on and it's very flattering that someone asked you to do a documentary on you um i was flattered and he wasn't the first person who asked but he was the first person who really like seriously has some details and stuff like that so i'm about to work i ain't got time to be out here talking today Ooh, clock i do need a thumbnail though yeah yeah we can take a quick picture yeah all right son yeah. can you come snap this real quick i need a picture of me and clark for actually if everybody could be in well, no, nah, we'll just do me here. Um, actually, I might be able to do it. Well, the light's not. Where do we need to be? I think <laughs> it's just a thumbnail. All right, new day. Here we are. New All day, right. New floor. Wow. Um, so there's this sill here, and that sill over there were pretty rotten, so I took both of those out. Okay. Um and then most of the joists over here the way these joists are cut is they have this little notch that sits on top of there mm -hmm. and then they have these pieces which i had never seen this technique before but they put these pieces of flooring right here is that i the this to the wall sections and when i pulled those off that's where a lot of rot was and then a lot of rot had gotten on the tails of these so that so probably wasn't a good system. When I took the flooring off, they just dropped to the floor. Oh, wow. Was so, it that fragile? Yeah. yeah. So we were fortunate we didn't fall our asses through. Yeah, you were fortunate you didn't fall your asses through. I mean, look at this. This is what, we're, what you've been standing on. Like this one, I just pushed down today right here and that just split right off. <gasps> so what I did is I put what's called a ledger right here mm -hmm. under these two by eights. So that's screwed into that new sill. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, he had I mean, to rebuild the floor. He says, "Fortunate we didn't fall our asses through." Basically, you can see like there that splitting. Yeah. Those are splitting over there, and these are on a 24-inch spacing, which is like not really done anymore. You this is good. Yeah. Though, right? We're getting it done, son-in-law. It's yeah. costing. So this, this I mean, little building costing us. You'll be able to put like a toilet and stuff on this kind of building. We can. Okay. Be. Tile? Or should we still keep it light? Because um, I was looking at some other. Tile just for the bathroom? I was thinking just for the bathroom. And that's going to be over there? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be fine. But we... I wonder how the rest of the, the boys look up under the. You know. Well, he said this, this side, side over here is pretty better, good. Better because than... um, you know where that chimney was up yeah. there? So that chimney. Has, you should have saw a, a terracotta sleeve in it, and that's like the old stove pipe. Uh -huh. We've got some was, pieces out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you should have saw. I'm sorry to cut you off, Andrew, huh. but I need to let him know. Huh. Not only were we at risk of falling through the floor, but there was like three, four hundred pounds of concrete over our head that could yeah. have fallen at any time. We were on boards that were like bowing down. Very yeah. serious. So huh. we were very fortunate up in here. That was the first thing I did is pulled that chimney out. 
But that chimney had an the open stovepipe, so we Okay, so what is called what is uh, this called? That's called curly duck. Okay. It's in the genus Rumix. Rumix, okay. Um, there's a bunch of different kinds and a lot of them have medicinal properties. The roots um, people make tea out of them. They're a little bit bitter. Okay. They're good for the liver. Good for the liver. What else you recognize, Andrew? This is my golden rod. Ah, but well, I need to take care of this. Yeah, golden rod's really nice to have around. It's a native. I wonder what I can do to. Pollinators like it. What can I do to nurture? Just clean Just this out go. a little yeah, more. You, I mean, you could transfer some out to a sunny patch if you want to. Yeah. Uh, you know, also a bunch of nurseries grow, uh, like cultivars uh -huh. of it, so you could. Some of that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And of course, I have tons of junipers, um you know the junipers here. Yep. Um they'll get those berries on them and you can use those okay. for medicine or food. Look at you. Uh, yeah, Andrew know all kinds of shit. He just randomly come out with some stuff. It's like, oh I like plants. Mm. Girl. I found some bacon flavored sunflower seeds. Life changer. It's really hard to hear. We're doing that. Mm hmm. I was about to say he's working on the floor <clears throat> um, Josh just finished mowing the other end the far end of our field and now I am about to start um, doing some some rows once he tills our expanded garden area we've done a whole bunch of other stuff too y'all lots of lots has been done out here um y'all see i put my hair up because it is too hot i can't have stuff touching my neck when it is hot you ready you want me to help you put the uh yeah i'm gonna undo that one real quick yeah you're gonna have to drive that one I'll drive that one. Okay. Go on and, and knock some rows out. I was telling Asher I'm gonna make sure I leave us like um, the perimeter, leave us a, a path that we can go on with the tractor and the wheelbarrow and all that, because that was one thing we did this year. All right. Let me go. Andrew said I had something that was highly invasive, y'all. I think I got one of these in my yard. Yeah, probably. They were brought here as ornamentals. And a lot of people still plant them as ornamentals, but... It's invasive. They're pretty weedy, yeah. Oh, so he's going to be a problem? That, yeah, I have a friend down the road who had a bunch of these on his property, and he recently just cleared them all out, and they were a lot. Oh. Okay. Well, let me, let me research Mr. Privet. Cause right now he looks innocent, <laughs> but that's how it starts. That's how I. That's how I have problems yeah, because. Get yeah, I know, but I'm still gonna plant me some ginkgos. You know they were thought to be extinct for a long time. No, I didn't know that. And then they were discovered in a Chinese monastery. Wow. So, yeah, I think it was. But like they, there, it's it's an ancient branch that split off from the plant family tree, uh -huh. and the ginkgo biloba is the only living relative from that branch. Okay. All the other ones are extinct. 
and people knew about ginkgo through the fossil record because they had that leaf shape, you know, the fan. Yeah. And so they found, you know, imprints of the leaves and stone. And then it wasn't until like the early 1900s when they actually found living ginkgos being tended to by monks. Wow. And then so every ginkgo that's been planted since then, they're all descendants from that. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. Now I really want me some ginkgos.